In a wonderful wood, not far from a little town, there lived a happy family of chipmunks. They loved their forest, they liked climbing trees, collecting nuts, sleeping in their cozy hole. But one day the happy life ended. People built as a plant near the wood. One day they were sleeping peaceful in their beds when they heard a strange noise. Their home started shaking and the ground started falling from the ceiling. Smoke filled their hole. The chipmunks couldn't breathe. Simon and Bella shouted, What is happening? John ran quickly outside and saw the tractors were destroying their wood. People cut down the trees and burned them. Thick smoke filled the sky. Quick, take the things you can say. We need to get out of here. John shouted to his family. Jessica and the children ran out of the uh, hall and looked unhappily at the remains of uh, the house. The chipmunks decided to go to the uh, town and look for a new home. They were walking for uh, many days and finally saw some uh, houses in the distance. John and his family liked one little house with a big garden with uh, nut trees. Uh, they wanted to live in that house. Suddenly they noticed the open door and uh, went inside the house. They liked everything inside the house because there were a lot of plants. Most of all, they liked one room with a lot of colorful things. Then the girl came into the room. The chipmunks were afraid and wanted to run away, but the girl offered some nuts to them and they wanted to stay there very, uh, very hungry. The girl's name was Cheryl. She was very happy to have chipmunks in her house. They told her sad story about their forest. Cheryl decided to help them, but what she can do alone? After the chipmunks ate the nuts, they began to feel sleepy and tired. Why am I so sleepy? asked one of the chipmunks. Cheryl looked at them with evil eyes. You didn't even know that I put sleeping potion into the nuts. The chipmunks fell asleep, except one of them. Simon tried his best not to sleep. Here Cheryl say, now I can go back to my machine building plant and destroy the whole forest. Simon was surprised by this. She was the boss of the machine building plant. But after this, Simon couldn't hold it and fell asleep. Cheryl's grandma had passed away and became an angel. She looked down on the ground and told all day long as an angel that one day she saw that Cheryl was putting sleeping potion on the chipmunk's food. Cheryl's grandma knew this would make the chipmunks sleep for at least three days in a row. Shell scramble was furious of what Shell has done. She was taught to respect nature, not destroying or kill it. Shell grandma decided, decided to, to help, help the chipmunks to escape, escape and heal the nature. nature. Then she tried to find the chipmunks. They were sleeping on the couch in the living room. She gave them an unsleeping potion that she had made. Grandma woke up the chipmunks by a magic potion. Then they woke up and saw the grandmother witch, but they thought she was also bad. So they screamed so loud that they broke all of the windows. Then the grandmother witch uh, fainted and while the chipmunk tried to look for clues to see if the grandmother witch was good or bad till they found a picture that showed that the grandmother witch was helping the trees so they trusted the grandmother witch the chipmunks woke up woke her up by making hot coffee and they put some waking up potion that they found at the grandmother's pocket the grandma woke up so they escaped by jumping out of the window and started their journey to the forest with Grandma the Witch, they got to the forest by a magical flying spell. When they saw Cheryl ordering the workers, they shouted stop, but Cheryl left a lightning bolt at gra good Grandma Witch. She dodged it. 
Grandma Goodwitch and Cheryl fought back and forth for a while. Then Cheryl shot a lightning bolt at Grandma Goodwitch and she dropped in the water. So one of the chipmunk salmon picks, salmon picks up the wand and turns into a chipmunk wizard. So salmon shoots a nut spell that shoots a giant nut at Cheryl. Abracanut, that salmon said it, and they defeated Shay. When some of the fume from the nut bomb fell off, it landed on a line of oil that caught fire and went towards the oil barrel and exploded. Half of the machine plant first, then the nut bomb landed and the terrible machine building plant was destroyed. Simon had made a shield around all of them with his magic wand. Right when the nut bomb landed and hit the ground and exploded, he even made a shield for Shale. She asked, why did you save me? He responded, you still have to go to jail though. No. When the machine plant exploded, there were cracks everywhere. Suddenly, the cracks at the machine plant sparkled and went up to the sky and fell with the beautiful rainbows. There were a sprouts cleaning the ground and making it full of grass. Then at the ground, there were small and beautiful sprouts sparkling at the sunshine. Bella and Simon looked around the machine plant. There were rainbow hurricanes in the machine plant turned to a beautiful tree named Tree Spirit. The sprouts that were in the ground were seeds for the flowers and the trees. Immediately, there were many beautiful trees and flowers growing in the ground. The chipmunks were excited to move into Tree Spirit. Seeing the Tree Spirit sprout from the ground inspired Cheryl to learn her lesson and transform her magic. I'm going to use my powers for good, Cheryl, Cheryl shouted. shouted. The chipmunks knew that Cheryl needed help learning to protect the environment. So they decided to coach her. We, we will, will help, help, agreed the chipmunks excitedly. Cheryl, Grandma, and the chipmunks knew that they could use their voices to spread good deeds and lessons around the world. Let's, Let's make a plan, plan, they all agreed. Grandma also made the tree spirit rainbow color and added a welcome sign. The friends decided that they wanted to travel all around the world, teaching others about the, what they learned. About protecting our environment and all of our habitats. This will change our planet! Bella squeaked excitedly. With help from the chipmunks and grandma, Cheryl even wrote a magical book for children. The book teaches readers to always think of others and that their actions affect others too. Yeah!